Okay, so good day to everyone. So this is the Brighton cycle. Okay, for this is uh, the, the Brighton cycle, this is the operation of a simple, simple gas turbine power plant or just what we call the Brighton cycle. Now, as you can see here in the figure, we have the diagrammatic layout of gas turbine units. Okay, ating i-zoom in muna. Now, for this uh, layout of a Brighton cycle or a gas turbine unit, the process starts at point one. Okay, when the air is compressed, so ibig sabihin, we have air compressor here. Uh, the usage or the function of the compressor is to compress air for the combustion. Okay, uh, the air coming from the compressor, the outlet coming from the compressor will go to the combustor. And this combustor will serve as your uh, combustion area, okay, wherein from uh, the, few, the air and the fuel, a mixture of air and fuel, uh, yun yung combustion. Uh, the combustion takes place in the mix, mixing of air and fuel ratio. So after the combustion takes place, thereby it will be creating a energy. That energy will be converted to, mechan to electrical. Uh, by means of the generator. Okay, and this is a work. Magpuproduce ng work and the exhaust or the energy or the exhaust of the combustion will go to the sink. Okay, and this sink naman pupunta ulit sa compressor to repeat the cycle. That is the open cycle. And for the closed cycle naman, same lang. So you have your a compressor papunta sa combustion or sa source mo. Then, after that, pupunta sa generator. Then, papunta dito. As you can see here, we have a heat exchanger na magaganap. Okay? So, the exhaust heat coming from your source down to your turbine, siyang magpapainit dito sa sink. Kaya magiging magkakaroon siya ng heat rejected. And, yung heat rejected coming from process uh, 4 to 1, ano, siya yung magiging source of heat natin sa uh, ibang process. Kaya siya nagiging closed cycle. Sa so, madalit sabi, air continuously enters the compressor 1. After compression, it enters the combustors. Some of it going around the outside of the combustion chamber proper and the remainder furnishing oxygen for burning the fuel, which is continuously injected to the combustion chamber. Because of their temperature rise, the gases expand and enter the turbine in the state 3. After expansion through the turbine, the exhaust to the, tur the, to, to the atmosphere is in some condition. In our ordinary power plant arrangement, the work of the turbine is great enough to drive the compressor and deliver brake work to drive. Let's say a generator, a propeller, we have an external source of force needed to start the gas turbine unit. So, ito, so mas, uh, para mas madali nating maintindihan itong ating layout na ito, we will convert it into a PV or a TS diagram. Now, ang tip ko sa inyo is to draw a PV diagram because the process of a Brighton cycle is SPSB. We have constant entropy, constant pressure, constant entropy, constant pressure. So you have your isentropic compression, which is 0.1 to 2. And then at constant pressure, we have 2 to 3, which is your Q added or heat added to the system. 3 to 4 is your isentropic expansion to the turbine ito, and process 4 to 1 is your heat rejection at constant pressure. Kaya 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay, SP, SP. Now, for the analysis of the Brighton cycle, you have QA equals MCP delta T. Kung makikita ninyo, at constant pressure, CP yung ginamit, and T3 to T2. T3 minus T2. The uh, temperature difference, delta T, which is from the final temperature minus the lower at the initial temperature, which is yung T2. Kaya T3 minus T2. And for the QR, we have MCP delta T as well. But here, your temperature is from T4 minus T1. From final minus initial. So you can see here, a T4 ang inuna because mas malaki yung temperature niya. Pero pwede mo, nang, pwede mo nang unahin yung T1 since delta tayo, we have temperature final minus temperature initial. So, mangyayari, magni-negative dito yung iyong sagot. And negative uh, doesn't mean your answer is, is wrong, but it distinguishes that your heat is being rejected to the system. And for your work, we have QA minus QR pa rin, or MCP delta T minus MCP 
delta t. And for your efficiency, you have your output over your input. Ganun pa rin. Uh, MCP delta T minus MCP delta T over MCP delta T. Now, in terms of temperature, efficiency natin, you have 1 minus T4 minus T1 over T3 minus T2. Or by using your compression ratio and pressure ratio, okay, magkaiba ang compression ratio sa pressure ratio. Compression ratio will take place on the compression or in the isentropic process. And for the pressure ratio will take place on the isobaric process. Okay, yun yung inyong tatandaan. So we have 1 minus 1 over Rk raised to K minus 1 or equivalent to 1 minus 1 over Rp raised to K minus 1 all over K. Okay? And for the derivation of the formula for efficiency, so process 1 to 2, ano siya? Isentropic process. So si Tita Vicky ulit or kaya si Tipikik. Okay? So we have T2 equals T1 Rk raised to K minus 1 or just simply Rk raised to K minus 1 equals Rp times uh, R is to K minus 1 all over K. Okay? And for process 3 to 4, kailangan natin sa process 3 to 4 is isometric process then. So, si Tita, si Tita Vicky then, o si Kaya si Tita Vicky. This time, we're going to use Tita Vicky. So, T3 over T4 equals P3 over P4 is to K minus 1 all over K. Since uh, pressure 2 is equivalent to pressure 3 and pressure 4 is equivalent to pressure 1 because it is isobaric process, we can say that P3 the T3 over T4 equals P2 over P1 raised to K minus 1 all over K. Or just simply T3 equals T4 times RK raised to K minus 1. Okay, substituting those equations from your temperature equation in terms of, uh, for your efficiency in terms of temperature, ito yon. substitute lang natin ito. Ito yung kinalabasan. And upon simplifying it up, we have your efficiency, which is, which is equivalent to 1 minus 1 over Rk raised to K minus 1. Or just simply 1 minus 1 over Rp raised to K minus 1 all over K. Okay? And for the total compression work, compressor work, we have work of the compressor equals delta Q minus delta H. So or just simply negative MCP delta T. Okay? For the total turbine. We have ganun pa rin, neg a delta, negative delta H or wherein your uh, delta H is MCP delta T. And for the network, WT minus uh, work ng turbine minus work ng compressor. Okay? So for the problem, let's try to solve the problem. Okay? This is with the air cycle or with the air table. Okay? Now, at problem number one, you have 300 kilowatts of power is produced by an air standard Brighton cycle with an air being the working fluid. Okay, at 45 degrees Celsius entering the compressor and leaving at 550 degrees Celsius, exiting the, the heat exchanger at a temperature of 775 degrees Celsius and leaving the turbine at 350 degrees Celsius. So, ibig sabihin, entering natin, which is 0.1, T1 natin is 45, and leaving at 550 degree Celsius. Now, exiting the heat exchanger at a temperature of 775 degree Celsius and leaving the turbine at 350. So, therefore, ano yung leaving the turbine? Temperature. Pag leaving the turbine, temperature natin. Leaving the turbine. Ito yung turbine, temperature 4. Okay? And... Uh, ito ay heat exchanger at temperature of 775. So, yun yung temperature 3 natin. Ito dito mas para mas makita nyo. Temperature 3. Okay? Now, using the air table, we have to determine the following. The pressure ratio of the compressor or the RP. The compressor work in kilojoule per kilogram or the WC. And the thermal efficiency or the efficiency. Now, ano ba yung mga given natin? You have T1 which is 45 plus which is 45 degree, please take note that you have to convert your temperature always in a absolute uh, unit. So you have 318. You have your T2, which is 277 or equivalent to 550 Kelvin. Your T3, which is 775 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 1048 Kelvin. And your T4, which is 350 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 623 Kelvin. And for your uh, power, we have 300 kilowatts, okay? 
Now, solution for the compression ratio. The formula in getting the, the sorry, not the compression ratio, the pressure ratio. The solution for getting the pressure ratio, we have your RP, which is equivalent to pressure ratio at 0.2, all over pressure ratio at 0.1, or just simply pressure ratio at 0.3, all over pressure ratio of 0.4. Bakit po? Kasi at process 1 to 2 and process 3 to 4, siya is, sorry, at process 2 to 3 and process 4 to 1, siya is isobaric process. So, pwede mag-equal yan. Now, anong meron tayo? Uh, let's try at temperature 3, which is 100, pressure ratio P3 over P4. So, pressure ratio natin, temperature at 148, uh, 1048 Kelvin. So, we will get the value of pressure ratio at 1048. Ano doon is 1000 and 1050. So, nasa gitna siya. So, so, we're going to interpolate this value. Then, hanap natin sa enthalpy kasi kailangan natin yan. Ang katapat ng 1,000 doon is 1,066 kilojoule per kilogram. And yung katapat na pressure ratio niya is 124.45. Same goes as your 100, uh, same goes as your 1,050 uh, Kelvin. Meron tayong 1,124.9 kilojoule per kilogram na enthalpy and 152.05 na pressure ratio. For that, we can solve now for the value of enthalpy and, and pressure ratio at point or at temperature, which is at temperature 3 or at point 3, which is 1048 Kelvin. Okay, so therefore, your enthalpy there is, upon interpolation, you yield, uh, you will yield an enthalpy of 1,122.544 and compression or and a pressure ratio which is equivalent to 150.946. Okay? Another another uh, point that you're going to provide for you to be able to get the pressure ratio, the, comp the pressure ratio is pressure ratio at 0.4. Okay? PR4 is equivalent or a PR for a temperature for which is equivalent to 623. So, hanap yung 60, 623. Nasa pagitan siya ng 620 at saka 640. So, the value at 620 is 637.1. And sa 640 naman, 658.8. Ang kanyang enthalpy. And your PR is, is 19.125 and 21.56. So, upon interpolation, you can, you can get the value of PR, which is 19.49025, and your enthalpy, which is 640.355 kilojoule per kilogram. And for the compression ratio, you can now get 7.74469289. Uh, this is unitless because the ice ratio. Next, for the compressor work, we have W work or the compressor work which minus equals h2 minus h1 now please take note this is in terms of enthalpy kung pansin ninyo pwede naman siya mcp delta t na kagaya nito kanina work ng compressor mcp delta t but since wala tayong binigay na mass so in terms of enthalpy tayo okay so in terms of enthalpy we have h2 minus h1 Okay, saan ba, nang, saan ba nakikita yung compressor? Eh, di nasa 0.1 to 2. So, dapat yung temperature mo, eh, ah, sorry, dapat yung enthalpy mo, na dito lang din sa point na ito ang gagamitin mo. Kung work na compressor hinahanap, hindi 1 to 2 ang, pre, ang enthalpy na gagamitin mo. Kung, pressure, kung turbine naman ang hinahanap in terms of enthalpy, eh, di 3 at 4 naman yung gagamit, gagamitin mong enthalpy. Okay, now for the compressor work, H2 minus H1. So, hanapin muna natin ang H1. Wala tayong exact na H1 kasi ang ating temperature is 318 which is walang exact number sa air tables. So, meron tayo is 32320. So, kuha lang din ang value ng H ng both 32320 as well as yung PR kasi gagamitin din natin yan later. Okay, then after that, nakuha mo yung H1 which is 3 to 1.05 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Now, for the H2 naman, at 0.2, you have 823 Kelvin. So, all you have to do is to get the value of 823. Ah, sorry. T2. Mali, ataan tayo po. Yung T2 mo is, yan, 550 Kelvin. 
sorry, 550 Kelvin siya. So, please disregard this one. This is not 823. This is 550. So, so 550, 540, and 560. Okay, so you're going to interpolate pa rin doon. And then, you get the 562.15. From that, you can now get the value of your work compressor, which is 241.1 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay, and for the thermal efficiency, you have your output over your input or equivalent to 1 minus Q out minus Q in, which is equivalent to H4 minus H1 all over H minus H2. Bakit po nagkagayon? Ano ba ang Q out natin? According to the process, your Q out is at the process 4 to 1. And your Q in is at the process 3, 2 to 3. So therefore, your entropy will be H3 minus H2 all over H4 minus H1. Q out minus Q in. Sorry, the H4 minus H1 all over H3 minus H2. Q out minus Q in. Okay, so 1 minus H4 minus H1 all over H3 minus H2 times 100. So up, uh, upon getting the all enthalpies, you substitute, then you get the value of your efficiency. Okay, so that's it for the Brighton cycle. Now, the tip that you're going to do in solving the Brighton cycle is to find all enthalpies first. Okay. Since sa Brighton cycle naman is apat lang naman ang enthalpies natin na kailangan because of the process naman is 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1 only. Madali mo nang makuha. Ano, kunin mo lang lahat yung mga enthalpies since meron naman tayong air tables. And then you interpolate. Okay? Kung single interpolation or double interpolation, so be it. Ano, as long as you get the correct or the exact value for each enthalpy on each process, you are on the right track on getting the right answer for the problem. Okay? So, that's it for now. If you have any questions, you can just uh, message me via my messenger or you can formally message me on my email at kim.benson at g.batstitu.edu.ph. So that's all. Thank you. I hope you've learned from my uh, lesson. Thank you.